Hi everyone, my name is PH Chabano and I'm an IT architect. So this video will provide you a tutorial uh, on how to download Java and this is definitely for the beginners. Now this this task of downloading Java is definitely trivial for uh, advanced uh, let's say Java programmers but if you're definitely new to Java it's a bit, it could be a little bit confusing at first right? because you have so many options today right so that's what this tutorial is all about uh, to give you uh, the approach uh, depending on what you're going to do. Java download where to start well first we typically what I recommend to you is identify your needs first so basically why do you need java right at the first place so do you need java for let's say games like minecraft is one of the most popular games out there for java uh, maybe you need java for browser right because there's still a quite a bit of dependency on java the browser if you're still using let's say application using old applet for example and then maybe you need java also for uh, doing you want to do some application development right like coding or web development as i said first identify your needs uh, and then after you understand, simply Google Java download, right? So uh, open your browser window, simply Google Java download, and that will give you kind of a two main hit uh, at the top, right? So for the first one, which I recommend, which is the java.com slash download, right? Definitely, if you want to Java for some pure games, you don't want to do any coding or programming. So simply stick to java.com slash download. That will give you some very simple download ins instructions there, right? And for example, you, you want to refresh your Java version for your desktop, right? Now, if you need Java for a bit more advanced stuff, then I recommend the Oracle website itself, right? It will give you much more download options including, uh, for example, the 64-bit version instead of a 32-bit if you need more memory. And you can even get the server-side version. And, of course, you will get even access to the archive version of Java, right, if you need an older version. Okay, so that's what we're going to see next here. Okay, so now we're going to see a live demo of the Java download. So as I mentioned in the initial uh, presentation, we're going to just type in Java download, right? In this case, we're going to Google Java download. And as I mentioned earlier, you're getting two main hits at that point, okay? Java.com slash download, and of course you get the Oracle version of it. So let's start with a Java download itself, okay? Simply click this link up there, and you will see it's very straightforward. You can download the latest version, right? So Oracle essentially is giving you the latest version available, which is, as per today, this is the version 8, or Java 1.8 update 60, right? Then you simply click the free Java download and then you can pretty much refresh your desktop. That's a more simple way, right, to, uh, to know the version. From that view also, you have a few more options. You have also the all Java download here. And this option allows you also to have multiple version as well. Okay, like in this case, Windows 64-bit version, for, of course, for the Mac OS and Linux as well as Solaris, right? So it's still giving you more options there as well. So that's the first way if you're not going to do anything fancy with Java, no programming, no nothing, it's, it, that, this is probably good enough for you. That will refresh the version that, that, that you need and then uh, refresh also the uh, even the browser plugin as well. Okay. Now, if we go back to the Java download, the second approach I recommend is to go to the oracle.com, right? That's the second hit from the Java download Google. So we're going to go there. And you will see in this case you're switching now you're on oracle.com right since oracle now is is managing java and you will see you have much more options now this is where things can get confusing right what is the differences first between gdk and gre well if you're new to java you may not understand why do i need gdk or why do i need the server gre or gre itself right well the the gdk stand for java development kit right again it's development kit here so typically you will need the gdk if you want to do some programming the gdk also includes some tools that allow you to monitor java for example right like java visual vm for a lot of people here on the web uh, you won't you will not need the GDK, right? You simply want to have the runtime version. The GRE stand exactly for that Java runtime environment. This is essentially your JVM. And most of the time, that's what you will need, right? Unless you're you are part of the development world. And even the GRE, you have two flavors of it from Oracle. You have the server-side GRE and a standalone GRE. Again, server-side, it's it's now be more the runtime for typically 64-bit that you want to use at the server-side. So let's say you want to run Java through a server. like could be like Tomcat or JBoss, Wildfly on the... Uh, and some of the Oracle WebLogic or IBM Web Sphere, right? So that, uh, that's why you would download the server GRE, okay? Let's take a simple instruction. So let's say you want to load the GDK. You will click the GDK link. Then you will send the GDK. You have multiple options here. First, you'll need to accept the license ag agreement here. Otherwise, you cannot do anything. So don't forget this step. 
uh, and then you will see get you essentially get a breakdown of all the Java versions and at that point it's fairly straightforward from here right so in this case you can see it's a Java IC 8 update 60 and then what in let's say you want to download the Windows 64 bit so it's always the same pattern right you will see the OS version the actual the OS type then you will get the type x64 means a 64-bit version of Windows x86 would mean the 32-bit in this case you would right click save link as and that will allow you to download in this case java 1.860 for windows 64 bit now why 64 bit well again this is where we're getting in a bit of advanced stuff here but 64 bit means you can allocate more memory to java process but make sure you're you're running a version of windows like windows uh you know 7 8 1 or the latest 10 with 64 bit right with enough ram that will allow you to download the 64 bit version of java Okay. Of course, if you're using Linux, for example, you have the same option, 64 bits, then again for 64 bit job. Basically, you pick based on your preferred OS, and then you download the version right here. And this is for the GDK, as I mentioned, right? They will allow you to, with the GDK, to get access to the, all the development kit, right? As I mentioned. Now, if we go to the server GRE, you will see the same thing. Essentially, in this case, it's a GRE, it's a runtime environment. You're not going to get all the tools in the GDK, right? This is applicable, let's say you want to use 64-bit Linux, Solaris, and Windows. This is kind of a constellated view that Oracle came up with. Again, this is more around if you want to use Java as a server. Uh, so some of the existing server solution, as I mentioned earlier. So it's not something I expect a lot of you will go to. The GRE download is probably where you want to go. In this case, you just want the runtime version of Java. So in this case, you would go to the GRE section, do the same thing, you accept the license, and then you would choose the version that you need based on your OS again and the version. And again, the runtime will give you the runtime component, right, to run a program and, and everything without allowing you to compile anything. Okay, this is why it's called the runtime environment. And most of the time, that's what you will need but of course if you're a java developer as we just saw you will need to go to gdk version very simple uh, instruction there so one more point i want to add is what about you need old version of java well you will see it's kind of a i would say almost hidden right but oracle also has at the very end they have a java archive right so very often what's happening is you're you're going to use a software which is not compatible with the latest and greatest version of java so in this case you may need an older version so go at the very end and you will see in this case you get access to the archive version of java okay you can follow some of the these links now keep in mind like Oracle mentioned these versions are not updated right with the latest security patches I would not recommend that, you know, for your desktop. If you know, if, if you're browsing the internet and everything, you wanna you wanna stick to the latest version. But uh, it, that would be more applicable if you need to run a program, a game, uh, then in an older version of Java. So that's what I would recommend you to go. Otherwise, for your own desktop version and uh, like even our code machine for for production, typically you wanna have the latest and greatest uh, version, which is compatible with the software. Okay, and that's essentially it. Please feel free to post any question if you're any trouble downloading Java, and I'll be happy to answer. Well, thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.